I'm Nicole Lee, Senior Associate Editor for CNET.com, and this is a first look at the Nokia Lumia 800, one of Nokia's first Windows Phone devices. It supports the latest Windows Phone 7.5 Mango operating system. It's made out of a unibody polycarbonate material. On the front here is a curved 3.7 inch WVGA AMOLED clear black display. And that means it has a polarizing filter that makes it look good under bright sunlight. The display is made out of Gorilla Glass, so it's scratch resistant. And it's also slightly curved to make it easier to swipe between screens. On the front here underneath the display, you get the Windows phone controls like the back button, the Windows button, as well as the search function. On the side here, you do get the volume rocker, the power button, as well as a camera button. On the top here is a headset jack, as well as a little micro USB port. On the back here is the 8 megapixel camera lens with the LED flash. The 8 megapixel camera can record in 720p HD video. It also has a Carl Zeiss lens. The Nokia Lumia 800 is powered by a 1.4 GHz single core processor along with 512 MB of processor memory. It has 16 GB internal storage. Because of its unibody design, it does not have a removable battery, but you can go to a Nokia store or a carrier store to have that replaced. It has the usual features like Wi-Fi, GPS, and more. It is a quad-band GSM phone, so it can be used internationally. The Nokia Lumia 800 also comes with support with a variety of Nokia services, like Nokia Drive, which is Nokia's turn-by-turn navigation system, Nokia Music, which is Nokia's music store, and Nokia Mix Radio, which is Nokia's streaming radio service. The Nokia Lumia 800 will be available in cyan, magenta, and black. It will be available for around $585 without a contract. I'm Nicole Lin, this has been the first look at the Nokia Lumia 800. What's up, Brian Tong here, and if you want the scoop for all the good and bad inside the Apple world, then the only thing you should be watching is CNET's Apple Byte. I'll give you the latest news, rumors, tips, apps of the week, and even call out the bad apples. So watch it all at CNET.com slash Apple and I'll see you there.